bins are then transferred to the production hall and tipped into the chilled meat hoppers. The batch formulation process is computer controlled to ensure the raw materials in use are blended in appropriate volumes to meet the final product fat specification. Each batch contains approximately 70% chilled meat and 30% frozen meat. There are no other additives or binders in the beef burger. The incorporation of the frozen meat ensures the mix temperature drops below minus 1 degree Celsius, but more importantly is also stiff enough to form burgers when under pressure in the forming machines. The chilled and frozen raw materials are ground through the initial grinding plates and are then mixed together in the pre-blenders. There are two pre-blenders, one for the leaner four-quarter beef and the other for the flank meat. It is vitally important that the bin or pallet details are recorded for all meat entering the pre-blenders. This is essential to maintain full traceability. The code on the box of hamburgers can be used to trace the meat back at each stage of the manufacturing operation, back through the deboning and slaughtering plants and ultimately back to farms of origin. At the press of a button, computer controlled amounts of meat from each of the pre-blenders are then transferred to one of the final mixer grinders. The pre-blender meat is mixed together and a sample taken for fat analysis. Achieving a consistent fat content in each meat batch is essential to maintain the required cooking performance, flavour, texture and quality of the final product. Samples from the mixer grinders are taken, chopped finely to ensure an even distribution of the fat and then pressed into the analyzer dish. It takes less than a minute to obtain the fat result. If the test result is too fat or too lean, the mix will be held in the final mixer grinder until an appropriate amount of flank or four-quarter beef is added to correct the batch fat content. Only then is it released and finally ground into waiting tote bins.